bit of trivia here for you. Uh, who does Kajol mistake Shah Rukh Khan for when she first meets him in Kabi Kushi Kabi Gum? Mm-hmm. When she first sees him, mm-hmm. she mistakes him for AJ Devgan. Ashfik Maya. Watch your language. Josh! <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid drag since I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juice content. Thanks to Patreon, fill the show account, subscribe, the like button. Because why? 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 It, it helps the, the algorithm. algorithm. Today we got a video. This is nine Hollywood movies copied from a Bollywood movie. What? Or in Indian. Top ten uh, movies. So this is uh, Indian movies that you're either inspired by. Uh, or you mean nine Hollywood movies. <clears throat> yes. Inspired by. Inspired by. Or they just straight out copied a Bollywood film. I guess it could be both. Okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm hoping the video will explain it to us. I'm going to take a few guesses. <clears throat> Go. Who? Born on the 4th of July. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Saving Private Ryan. Yes, of course. Yes. And Star Wars. Yes. Um, Jaws. And actually, the Indian Harry Potter was first. We, uh, that's, we know that. <clears throat> and uh, Nacho Libre. <laughs> Let's see if they're in there. Okay. Whoa. Bollywood is known for getting inspired from Hollywood Oh, yeah, that movies. one. And also I love Night and Day. Apparently, it's inspired by a Rithik movie. Hey. When Bollywood comes up with a movie so good and so original that it inspires Hollywood movie makers. Bollywood doesn't make anything original, am I right? Yep. Well. So here's our list of nine Hollywood movies inspired by Indian movies. <clears throat> Before we start, we want to clear some myths. Just Go With It was not inspired from Mene Pyar Kyu Kya. In fact, Mene Pyar Kyu Kya was inspired by Cactus Flower, which came out in 1969, oh. which itself was based on a French play named Fleur de Cactus. Also, Hitch was not inspired by Choti Si Baat, as Choti Si Baat was inspired by School of Scoundrels, that came out in 1960, and lastly, Vicky Donut didn't inspire Delivery Man. In fact, Delivery Man was a short-to-short remake of a French-Canadian movie, Starbuck. And leaving the sperm donation thing aside, the whole movie was different. And if anything, Vicky Dona was inspired by Starbuck, which released a year before Vicky Dona. Now that we have that clear... Thank you for clearing that up. Number 9. Abhay Kill Bill Now the stories of both of these movies aren't similar. But Abhay, which is a Hindi adaptation of a Tamil movie named Alavandan, showed violence in an animated sequence. And that inspired Quentin Tarantino in Kill Bill which he admitted okay. to Anurag Kashyap during a private conversation that the oh, infamous animated interesting. sequence was inspired from an Indian movie. Huh. Now, the movie Abhay wasn't entirely copied, but it inspired a director as strong as Tarantino. And that is not easy. So, kudos to the filmmakers of Abhay for doing that. Number 8, Jabbi Met and the Leap Year. Oh, the I never saw the Leap Year. Me neither, but I like Amy Leap Adams. Inspired from Jabbi Met, the similarities between the two movies are very apparent. While we all know the story of Jabbi Met, Leap Year shows a bubbly, overly enthusiastic, talkative girl who's on her way to propose to her boyfriend. And she meets a stranger along the way. They share a hotel room, they miss a train, they fall in love, they get separated but eventually get back together huh. and get married. Nice. Now the movies do show some different scenarios but that is basically changing it for the sake of cultural differences. And if you ask us, both of these movies have a lot in common for it to just be a coincidence. Number 7, Dar and Fear. Apart from the name of the movies which have a similar meaning, Fear is not really a straight up copy of the movie Dar, but it takes a very high amount of inspiration from it. Fear came out 3 years after Dar, and the movie shows an obsessive guy who's in love with a girl and would do anything for her, including murdering someone. Although the aspect of a love triangle is significantly shorter in the movie Fear, director James Foley copied the infamous scene where Shah Rukh is carving the name Kiran on his chest with a knife and showed Mark Wahlberg carving Nicole forever on his chest. Now that is a clear indication that the is Hollywood that movie was oh, yeah. partly inspired from that. Marky Mark Number Wahlberg? Number 6, Charlotte and 40 Shades of Blue. Oh. was probably the best as well as the most... Hey, is E.T. on here? Of his times. 
सो इट्स नॉट अ बिग सरप्राइज दैट इज 1964 बंगाली मूवी चारू लता आल्सो नोन एज द लोनली वाइफ वाज अ इंस्पिरेशन टू 2005 और नेवर सॉ 40 शेड्स ऑफ ब्लू नीदर डिड आई चारू लता शोड अ लव ट्रायंगल बिटवीन अ वाइफ अ हस्बैंड एंड अ यंग मैन सो आयरा शेक्स टुक दैट स्टोरी लाइन एंड मॉडिफाइड इट अ लिटिल बिट इनटू 40 शेड्स ऑफ ब्लू even winning the grand jury award not to be confused with 50 shades of gray number 5 doa ke barahat and the doti dozen oh. doa ke barahat was a masterpiece at its time produced and directed by v shandaram it told the tale of 12 convicts who turned their life around after turning into good citizens the movie was released in 1957 and it was so good that a decade later hollywood released the doti dozen Directed by Robert Aldrich, the two movies had a similar storyline of twelve convicts who turned into good people. There's Charles the Bronson and Telly Savalas right there. For a movie so old, inspiring Hollywood movie makers at the time with a limited reach is just amazing. Number four, Avanam and Divorce Invitation. There are many times when a Hollywood movie is remade into a Telugu movie, but with Avanam, it was the other way round. As the director S V Krishna Reddy himself made a Hollywood remake of the romantic comedy Telugu movie named Avanam and named it Divorce Invitation, starring Jonathan Bennett and Jamie Sigler. I never even heard of that. Exact remake yeah. of the Telugu classic no, Avanam. No, and no, not either one. The Telugu version was far more superior than the Hollywood one. Number three, Sangam and Pearl Harbor. Even though the name of the movie Pearl Harbor was based on a significant historic incident, the story of the movie is not at all about it. Instead, oh, Pearl okay. Harbor focuses on the love triangle drama between two best friends and a girl in a war zone. Oh, I love it when war the movies do that. The movie was very similar to the Bollywood movie named Sangam directed by Raj Kapoor released in 1964. Okay. Where it showed a love triangle between two best friends and a girl. The only difference between the two movies was that Sangam only had one friend as the pilot while in Pearl Harbor both the guys were shown as pilots. and the Number japanese two, pearl <laughs> yeah Rangopal Verma directed Rangila during his early years in Bollywood and is still considered as one of his oh, best. Zaddy Straw. Rangila was about a Tapori guy who's in love with this girl who's stuck in a love triangle between the Tapori guy and a movie star. India loves their love triangles. We liked that one. Yeah, we did. Rangila the girl is supposed to be a struggling actress just cast as a lead opposite the movie star in the Hollywood mm. movie Win a Date with Tad Hamilton. The only difference is that she's not a struggling actress but wins a date with the movie star. The rest of the movie however has a very similar storyline to Rangila. Number 1 Wednesday and a common man. Oh yeah, we know oh, about yeah. that. It's the directorial debut of Neeraj Pandey and is a really good film with some masterful performances by Great the movie. actors Nasiruddin Shah and Anupam Kher. And it had such an impact that director Chandram Ratnam decided to make an official remake of the movie named A Common Man, casting Ben Kingsley in the leading role. The story just... of the movie was almost an exact replica of a Wednesday where a mysterious man plants bombs that will explode unless four terrorists are released from a prison. A Common Man was a successful movie and ended up winning a number of awards at the Madrid International Film Festival. So this was our list for the top 9 Hollywood movies inspired nice. by Bollywood movies. Let us know in the comments below what other videos we should Yeah, cool. if you've seen some of those, let us know if they're actual Because obviously sometimes I think some films get credited for being like a remake even though it's just a similar story. Right, there's just an assumption made. Yeah. Yeah. Um <clears throat> or if there's like just one shot that has this man jumping and this man jumping. Oh, he copied him. Right. He, he's jumping. Yeah. Which is not not No, at but all when true. you when you have the actual director of Kill Bill say to yeah. somebody I absolutely was inspired by this Indian film, that's pretty non-negotiable right there. I mean, I do know that Bass was actually heavily inspired. He loves Bollywood. Mm -hmm. Um not a surprise. And it's actually quite when I was watching Elvis, it's quite evident he films his stuff like a Yeah. Hollywood films. Yeah. Uh a, a lot. Um with just all this like insane amount of cuts and shots and everything that he does. And, yeah. Um, the use of light. Yeah. Uh he and obviously and color. In, in um Moulin Rouge. Yeah. He actually did a a remake of a Bollywood song in that movie. Yeah. Um so I I do know there's directors that do love. Obviously most directors, especially big ones, are big cinephiles usually. Absolutely. And so they're they want cinema from everywhere for inspiration. Sure, and if you see a story that resonates with you and you think about a way you want to tell it in a, a way that's from your your heart, why not? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um so yeah, let us know in the comments if uh if you agree with those, uh, what other ones are there? If there's some of those films that I mean I'm actually I've seen cuz I never saw Leap Year. Me too. But I've seen it everywhere. Like I I know that poster. I think they promoted it like crazy. I'm sure it's all over Netflix when you're yeah, going through movies to watch. Probably. I, I did not know it was a Jab We Met remake, so maybe I'll watch it with my wife because we really enjoyed Jab We Met. Uh, <laughs> maybe we'll give it a watch. Uh, but yeah, let us know uh, about all these and any other videos we can react to down below. Josh!